Hi, this is Mario with the Mario Bird Jiu-Jitsu Academy. This is my assistant instructor, Dan Lackle. And uh, we're here to demonstrate my favorite technique of all techniques of Jiu-Jitsu, uh, the triangle choke. So the triangle choke, I'm going to use a very simple setup here to teach you guys uh, a basic understanding of the technique. And uh, what we need to create is a situation where one arm is inside the guard and one arm is outside the guard. Sometimes people that don't know any better, they will go ahead and they will do it for you. But that's very rare and we always like to assume that he knows a little bit more about fighting than that. So what we're going to do, you can use a double wrist control here to push one of the arms out of the way. As I do that, I normally want to place my foot on the opposite hip here. And I want to execute a good pull, pull him forward. As I pull him forward, the other leg comes up and I will chop down. This is where the triangle details come into play. It's very important that I don't stay in line with my opponent, meaning I don't stay right here. So what I want to do instead is to cut a corner. So as you can see here, we're as close to 90 degrees as I can get. And the triangle is created by a bar on top, my calf, a bar on the side here, my, the inside of my thigh, and a third bar, which is its arm, coming across. So I want that arm crossed before I clamp the triangle shut. Now, once I get to this position, the choke is already taking place. What I will do next is throw my leg over to close this position. And it's very important to attempt not to have any gaps on your triangle. So flexible people will have an easier time, but at times you've got a non-flexible student that will find himself in this situation. You are not able to finish the triangle from here because there's a huge gap. So in that case, just go ahead, it's okay to adjust it. Grab your own foot on the outside, bring it in, and move it to the side. In a fighting situation, I will be striking here. There are no doubts that I'm not gonna wait for the choke to take place. In a grappling situation, I would control the head and crunch. Another common mistake is to thrust the hips up. Thrusting the hips will facilitate him moving the arm to the wrong side here, which will make his advance a lot easier. Instead, I want to crush everything together to finish the choke. If you do this in training, just by lowering the heel and bringing those knees towards your, your shoulders, you should be able to get the tap. Why? Because when we have the triangle choke, we're creating an inverted triangle there, a gap. And when I lower the heel down, you can see that that bar, the top bar, starts sliding down and narrowing that gap. Of course, as his neck is strapped in there, he's going to get choked easily. So we're right here. I'm going to push one arm out. Now watch the change of the angle here and breaking of the posture. I'm breaking him down, I'm bringing him down, and I'm changing the angle. I can now... Close the triangle, squeeze everything tight, and get the tap. There are many other setups for the triangle. That's the beauty of this technique here. Uh, one of the things that I can do is, let's say he throws a punch at me or something, can get out of the way and get an overhook position, just like we did with the omoplata. Once I get this overhook position, it's a very safe position for me to be in. I can start moving to the side here, to the side that I want to attack, the side of the arm that's in, and I can push high on his head. Nobody likes to have that pressure there on the hand, so chances are this guy's going to move in with a free arm to try to fight it. This is an excellent opportunity here for me to move my right leg back and strike with the triangle chop here. Okay, so there are two options. His arm gets caught inside or his arm slips out. Both are good for me as long as that arm is here. It doesn't do anything for him except making the choke get tighter. If it slips out like it did, that's okay as well. Now I'm going to close it. What is my first line of worry here is getting the arm to the right position. This is a good time for you to hip up and transfer it. Once you transfer, correct the situation, correct the alignment, bring your knees down and crunch. So this is the basic triangle choke. Remember the triangle choke is not a crank. It is a good show and it can be applied for many positions. The guard is just one example. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Mario Roberto and you can check us out at www.mrjj.com or www.minnesotammanews.com.